Here's my collection of digit toys. I showed them, but only showed number four, transforming. When I was looking at the toys which are digits, but something else as well, this is probably the best of them. And I picked this little collection up at uh, Nuremberg Toy Fair, where they were being shown for the first time about three or four years ago, or no, two or three years ago. And they came very necessarily with a sheet of instructions to show how to do them. So each of those turns into something else. And the first three cases are going to be jet fighters. This one's a, also a helicopter and this one's a robot. And they're really fascinating. I did find when I was doing it, incidentally, um, you don't actually need a screwdriver. You just need something short, small and pointy because some of those things I found were quite sticky. And the other interesting thing is that each of these has a battery compartment, but these were prototypes at Nuremberg, so they hadn't got far around to doing the electronics. So when I opened the battery compartment, there were no terminals there, you couldn't put anything in there. I think probably they were intending in the next generation to make little sound toys, probably a little, a little noise of a jet engine going into them. So I'll point out the battery of doors at each of these as we, as we come to them. So here's the first one. It's a number one digit and it's going to turn into, if I can read the instruction correctly, a condor, whatever that means, a condor. So let's have a little fiddle, fiddle, fiddle with this, shall we? See what we can find. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. Oh, fiddle, oh, there we are. There we are, we're getting somewhere now. We've got wings, we've got some cannons, we've got cannons coming out here like this, and there's a cannon coming out here like this. And there's a something up here which is going to open up. Oh, this comes out like that. It turns around and goes back again like that. So that's the back of the jet. I'll take that down again in a minute. Now, this is where I found I did need something to push inside. Not a screwdriver, just a little sharp pencil or a knife, just to give that a little push so it opened up. If it's going to open up, not quite, a bit more. It was a fiddly, this, and it was just a bit too stuck. Jersey. There we are. So that now comes back, and that's looking much more like an aircraft, isn't it? This bit opens up, this is very nice. That opens up at the front there, and out comes the front of the plane. Oops, Daisy, it puts you down. Oops, should it put you down again? Uh, uh, uh. Got to turn you round. And now this top bit is going to lift up like this and allow this to go through underneath and then it will um, hopefully form the front or front of the, of the of the aircraft. This is a fiddly one here. Let me just get the pen inside to help me lift it up. Oh there we are. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. And there we are at last. Boom. And this creature here lifts up really, and turns over and forms a cockpit. And I think that's almost, oh, I must get this last bit looking nice and neat. The last bit I did, I found every one of these has a nice little um, set of wheels at the bottom of it, so if they, they can be run along the ground. This thing here, for instance, when you push it up like that, there's a wheel for it to run on, and when it's put into that form there, it's ready to go. This one here, I think I'd need uh, something to pull that up. There we are. This pulls up. I don't know what that little black thing there is. If it's a cannon, it's no, it's no good sticking up like that. It stops the thing from running. But that is now, you know, that's actually running, which is, which is great. It just needs a bit more tidying up, I think it is. The cannons are ready to go. I think it's just about ready, actually. So we'll call that, the, oh, that's, that's almost there. I think we'll call that the first transformer. So that was a number one, and it's now turned into a Condor fighter. Cockpit and all, we'll put it there. Well, I'll put these forward now and we'll see them looking in order as they're transformed. Number two is called the Phantom, another fighter. Let's have a go with him. Now, this is where they open. Oh, that's easy. It opened up very quickly, isn't it? And those open up very quickly. Oh, that's much better. That's much easier to do. And this lifts up like that sideways. And underneath, we're going to open up the. Um, the wheelhouses, there's some wheelhouses. Well, that's going to go down there. This again, I need I need something sharp and pointed just to lift it up so that I can get the wheels to come out. There we are. There's wheels front and back. There's wheels there and there's wheels there. I don't know what that does quite. And there's, oh, there's rockets there. Now this bit is slightly intricate. I've got to just get this bit right because it's uh, a little bit intricate. That comes up like that. And then to get this down, I've got to do a bit of shifting and moving of the pieces. They close up very nicely, actually, when they're in the right place. And it goes right the way across there, almost across there. 
so it's almost complete. I think that's just about complete. We've got we've got some wheels coming right down like that. I think yes, and this just about goes. Let me just get this across. No, it's probably near enough. We'll get those looking a little more as if they are going to be all. I think that's probably complete. That's phantom. And again, I love the idea that it runs across the table very smartly. So that's the second one. And that was a number two before we started transforming it. Number three, yes, the four doesn't help, seem to hold up very well, but never mind, he's popped up with it. Number three is going to be Thunderbolt. And this is the third of the fighters. And this one I have to do an action like that, which is very strange. And then we've got to open pieces up from wings and, and wings and other wings. So we are, there's some wings there. And these bits here open up as well, goodness me. And then we've got to oh, do something here. Oh yes, that's right. This is very clever, look at that. There's the cockpit. Turn it like that, put it down. And then when we open this bottom bit up, we should be able to get it into, there we are, into the cockpit to form the top of the aircraft. Again, we've got wheels at the bottom. Everything must be wheels, so let's get these up into position. There's a wheel there at the front, and there's two wheels at the back, to, so the aircraft can run along the table with a bit of luck. Push it there and push it there, that's right. And I think that's just about... Oh, no, there's a little more to do there. Yes, this is interesting. These bits opened up, which I didn't realise when I first had it. They form a sort of back... a, a back tailpiece to the... To the, to the fighter jet, so it's making it really quite interesting actually. I'll do it half closed like that perhaps. I think we'll call that just about done. We've got any more with armaments? No? Have the nose down a bit. And we've got wheels all four sides and we've got it running. Yes, that's running. So that's, oh, that's Thunderbolt. That's the third one. The fourth one I've already done, but I'm going to have another practice with it. This is a more intricate one because it is an aircraft, but it's got a propeller blade at the top, which means it can do a vertical takeoff, which is very clever. There, incidentally, is the battery door, which I talked about. When I opened up each of these, there's one inside, it's completely blank because this was an early prototype, which I picked up at the Nuremberg Toy Fair, and they hadn't got as far as the electronics. But my guess is every one of them has a small, what looks like a, the, um, the, where the loudspeaker would make a noise. My guess is each of them was designed when you opened it up and press something and make a, 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 a nice aircrafty type noise or sound of an engine going along. But um, that, that, was, that, was, uh, that was early days and this hasn't happened. Now this one, I'm, since I opened this up before, I should never be able to do it, but I've lost my way here. I think it's these, uh, these pieces here come down. Oh yes, there we are. There's a wing there and there's a wing there. And these pieces come out like that. Oh yes, this is all coming back to me now. Then this is the intricate bit here because we've got a We've got to pick that out like that. This is the um, this is a propeller blade that's got to go through there before you get too far into the development. Oh, that's right. This back piece comes out. That's right. The whole of this back piece comes out. If I can lift it up, and they don't lift because those get in the way. And now it will lift. No, those things get in the way. Those are the wheels. Those things which are sort of plugging the way. There we are. And this opens up like this as well. There we are. There's the back of the aircraft. There's wheels there which will come out like that. One wheel and two wheels. There we are. There's wheel there, wheel there. And there's a wheel at the front here which I'm about to... Oh no, it emerged like that. There we are. There's a wheel there. So already it's able to move even though it's not complete. So this has got to be pushed through there, put back there. Then this bit um, comes up to form the propeller blades. Three propeller blades. One, two, three at 120 degrees apart, roughly like that, wouldn't you say? Yes, about that. And we've got to do something with a cockpit, I'm not sure what. Oh yes, look, we've got to get the front of the aircraft out. Look, there we are, there's the nose, and there's the wheels, and let's get these wheels back again. I think that's just about it. This bit should be a little bit neater, I'm not quite sure how this last bit went actually. Let's try and push it back a little bit there. I think it goes underneath. I can't remember how that last bit goes, so I'm going to leave it, leave, leave it slightly. I'll leave it like that. I think. That roughly, with a slight change in the middle there, is, uh, is, is, is Thunderbird. Those wheels have collapsed again. Let's see if that's going to fly. It's just about, yes. It just about rolls. So that's number four. And the final one actually is, um, is a robot. He's called um, Ark Warrior, number five. Look at him. My goodness, what a monster. There's a battery compartment, but that's no good because it's not. Too, they haven't finished that bit of the design there. 
I don't know what noise they're saying. So this is the um, the robot's wheels. He's going to he's going to run along the wheels like that. And then you've got to do something very odd. You've got to turn that piece 180 degrees like that. And then you've got to pull out some wings or something. Or no, he's he's he's, he's a robot with arms. And we've got to, we've got to, he has some arms going. Arms. Oh, so these his arms with uh, weapons in them. And the last thing you do is open up the top of the thing, if I can get it to, to work, so that his head appears. Oops, there's a, come on dear, how do you go up there? Let's get you up like that and turn like that. I can't quite get the robots oh, up there. Oh, there we are. So, we, I think we're going to turn around like that, as it all. Does it go like that? Perhaps no. Let's let's just try that. There we are. That's, that's getting more like it. So he's got an arm here. Let's get his arm out there. And we've got an arm down here. And he's on wheels. And he's running along, looking as though he's going to have a battle, a battle royal or something like that. We've now got five really quite nicely made fighter, robotic, helicopter type things, all from digits one, two, three, four, five, all transformed, waiting to be played with. After which, you put them back into digits again. Brilliant. Very intricate instructions. The final thing is, the bottom of the sheet consists of an extraordinary instruction that you can combine all of them into a single figure, which is a giant robot with these three not, uh, not, 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 not transformed, just kept in their digit form. Some are acting as the limbs and the arms of a big, big robot, which is involving this one here. But I haven't got to that stage, and I think I'll probably leave it. I'm very happy to see the transformation in that form, though. I think it's a, it's a brilliant idea. And uh, if you ever come across them, you will need not a screwdriver, but just a little pointed thing to, um, to coax them into action. And then they, they, they move very nicely.